Well, let's take a look at July. The numbers are in now that we've officially reached the last day of the month. The average high for this month was 93.7 degrees. That's almost a full two degrees below the average high of 95.6. That's significant over the course of 31 days and nowhere near as hot as it was back in July of 2011 when our average high for the month was 101.7. That is uh, pretty remarkable. Here's a look at the uh, last 24 hours. Speaking of remarkable, the fine line that we were walking last night between very heavy rain and no rain at all. DFW saw a trace, barely a drop across much of Tarrant County, barely a drop in downtown Dallas, and yet you go just to the northeast into Collin County and Denton County. We had two to four inches of rain common in these locations. Same story down around the Lake Tawakany area and into the Canton area where we had another little bullseye there of two to four inches. Here's the specific measurements uh, that were uh, called into us, shared with us by our weather trackers. Collinsville, 4.29 inches. Rodney Nicely in White Wright, 3.2 inches. And Nichols and Canton with three inches of rain. Marion, Champany, and McKinney with a shade over two inches of rainfall. Tim Beavers and Garland, 1.4 inches. The Douglases out in Cooper and Delta County, a little over an inch and a half of rainfall. Up in Gainesville, over four and a half inches of rain. That produced a lot of street flooding last night. Nancy Bean, Mesquite, 1.9 inches. Chris Bell and Grand Saline, 3.85 inches, but yet Look at Fort Worth and Grand Prairie, only 0 .02 inches in those locations. The rain now has moved well south and east of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. The clouds you see here, I think, are going to be with us not only tonight, but perhaps through at least the first half of your Friday as well before we start breaking them up a little bit. We're at 72 in Dallas, 71 North Richland Hills, 69 in Allen. Winds are still blowing out of the north-northeast at 15 miles an hour, and your dew point is at 65. So here's a look at the forecast as we head through tomorrow. Cloudy skies, temperatures in the 60s early tomorrow morning. I think we'll still be in the 70s at noontime, and with a little sunshine in the afternoon, we'll see temperatures rise into the low to middle 80s. Around the country, Billings, Montana, warmer than we are currently at 86. Same story in Seattle at 83 degrees. Meantime, the hot spot set Phoenix at 107. So these core, cool northerly winds will continue to blow right through tomorrow. Clouds will be stubborn to leave. I think we'll break those up a little bit tomorrow afternoon, especially if you live west and southwest of Dallas and Fort Worth. That'll be the best chance of seeing at least partly sunny skies tomorrow afternoon. Here's your full Warren AccuWeather seven-day forecast. 85 tomorrow. We'll take it up to 90 on Saturday, 92 on Sunday. Mid to possibly upper 90s as we head towards Wednesday of next week, but still no sign of triple-digit heat.